Friday, the 22nd of December, the Indian Air Force and the Indian Army initiated the purchase of 15 indigenously designed and built light combat helicopters from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The IAF will take 10 helicopters, and the Army 5. It is learned from HAL sources that the cost of each LCH will be RS 231 crore, RS 2.31 billion, putting the overall cost of the order at RS 3465 crore, RS 34.65 billion. LCH has the distinction of being the first attack helicopter to land in forward bases at Shichin, 5400 meters, 17,700 feet, above sea level HAL said. The helicopter participated in IAF Cyan Fist 2016 exercise in March, 2016 and displayed its rocket firing capabilities in its weaponized configuration HAL added. The LCH has a narrow fuselage, with two pilots sitting one behind the other in an armored cockpit that protects them from bullets and shrapnel. The LCH's flying technologies were tested on the Drub Advanced Light Helicopter which is a mainstay of the Army's aviation wing. You may soon be flying regional routes on board a Made in India aircraft. The Directorate General of Civil Aviation Plus, DGCA, has allowed Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, manufactured Dornier 228 to be used for civilian flights. The 19-seater aircraft has, till now, been used by defense forces and is the first plane to be made in the country for commercial flights. The DGCA has given type certification to this aircraft and also given certificate of airworthiness to HAL's Dornier 228. Now, HAL can sell this plane to airlines in India and it can be used by them for regional flights under the Modi's government's ambitious Udan Scheme Plus, a senior aviation official said. Some special incentives may be given to operators using this plane. Apart from airlines in India the official added. The Army plans to buy high-tech unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, to strengthen its intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, ISR capabilities and improve the effectiveness of its military operations. The force is laying the groundwork for acquiring more than 120 high-altitude, long-endurance, hail, UAVs, a senior officer told Height. Such UAVs can fly at over 60,000 feet and remain airborne for over 30 hours. The Army's existing unmanned systems fleet comprises Heron Medium Altitude, Long Endurance, Mail, UAVs, and the smaller Searcher Mark II tactical drones, both built by Israel Aerospace Industries. Herons can fly at over 35,000 feet and feed airborne intelligence for over 45 hours compared to searchers that operate at 15,000 feet for nearly 20 hours. India has been showing interest in several Israeli systems for this helicopter, namely various pods and spike anti-tank missiles manufactured by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. LCH is a 5.5-ton class, combat helicopter designed and developed by HAL. It is powered by two Shark T engines and inherits many technical features of the Advanced Light Helicopter. According to the company's statement on its website, the features that are unique to LCH are sleek and narrow fuselage, tricycle crashworthy landing gear, crashworthy and self-sealing fuel tanks, armor protection and low visibility features which makes the LCH lethal, agile and survivable. The helicopter would have day forward slash night targeting systems for the crew including the helmet pointed sight and electro optical pod consisting of CCD camera forward slash FLA forward slash laser range finder, LRF, forward slash laser designator, LD. The LCH is fitted with self-protection suite consisting of radar forward slash laser missile warning systems and countermeasures dispensing system. The Indian National Defence University, INDU, which is a proposed institute for defence studies, is likely to become a reality soon, as it can come up for cabinet clearance. The institute is being developed as centre to generate research on strategic affairs, a concept unheard of in India so far. INDU will have its campus on Bimola, Gurgaon. The Ministry of Human Resource Development has recently sent its suggestions to the Ministry of Defence regarding the university saying that it should be developed as a centre which generates new knowledge and promotes research in strategic affairs. Sources said that the suggestions have been approved and final proposal on INDU is likely to come up in the cabinet for clearance soon. The Ministry of Defence had in the year 2015 put up the draft bill to come up with an institution dedicated to defence studies. 
while the exact nature of courses in the institute has not yet been finalized. The idea is to develop it as a center which is meant for mid-career defense professionals and those who are interested in studying about strategic affairs, at the postgraduate level. We have suggested that the institute should be able to generate new knowledge and increase research in the area of defense said a senior official. Thanks for watching. Please like share and subscribe India Defense News.